The veteran about to walk through the door specializes in new school, but he's one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. And that took him all the way to the finale. Clean Rock One. What happened on season five, just, it doesn't sit well. The challenge has to matter, and for that, it's really hard to get past the fact that I don't think that Cleans hits the color realism part of the challenge. I do feel I got robbed. I do feel that I was the stronger of the tattooer, and for me to lose at the end by a technicality, I mean, that's just, it's unsettling. I want to give you a great tattoo, but I also want to win this challenge. Yeah, I understand that. Come on over. That is badass. I definitely think that I have an advantage going through a whole season compared to some of the new guys. You don't even know what's in store for you. I do know what the judges are looking for. I'm going with clean. Clean, clean. There's a huge yeah. difference between knowing what you're capable of and then knowing that you're better than somebody. Say whatever you want. Let's just hope they call it head to head. Now, you will each choose a veteran artist to face off against. I had to go head to head with Anthony. He stuck it to me. He knew exactly what I was weak at. He called me out. Black and gray, realistic, women, waist up. No tracing, you gotta draw it. I'm like, hurry the f up and get done. Pretty anxious, huh? Trying to hang in there. He knew exactly what my weakness was and, and he went for the jugular. Oh, what are you coming? Rub it in my face that you guys already made it to the finale? If Anthony thinks that he's just gonna walk on in here with his chest all puffed up and he's gonna take the title, he better think again. The judges have decided. Clean, you are headed to the live finale. Congratulations, man. Hey! I am the most versatile tattooer that's ever come on this show. I'm coming back to show the world that I do have what it takes to be Ink Master.